Glasgow, they're calling back 300,000 teddy bears. And perhaps this is a traumatic experience for many individuals. They bought this teddy bear for themselves or for the kids. And the kids have grown fond of it, hung it up and so on. And now that they're calling it, it's going to bring some trauma. However, I, I wondered how individuals got to this place where, um, you know, teddy bears became so important. And when you go back to psychiatry and some other of these mental health professionals, they were coming up with some theories that perhaps, you know, I mean, usually they must in that school, but they now graduate as a, as, a, as a psychiatrist or some mental health worker, and they figure, like, I know what to do. And so um, they would tell people things like, if you feel angry, you get a, a pillow and squeeze it and throw things around and so on. Now people <laughs> get angry to throw things at others. And I think that uh, that was so silly. Because as individuals, we are rational. And if we have a problem, there are ways we find to deal with it. We could discuss it, we could set it back, we could you know, solve it, we could move on. And uh, childish things, which I find they are, um, are unnecessary. So um, this recall now, I hope that nobody commits suicide or gets harmed significantly. But I think that uh, teddy bears are for kids. And it should never be like a comfort or a psychotherapist or, a psych or, or psychotherapy. Um, it should just be something to play with. Uh, the real thing, you know, might be elusive or might be dangerous and so forth. So, you know, you have this teddy bear to, to you know, you know, play around with, but not necessarily to feel comfort and feel love and all that, because it leads to a mental state that you, you haven't seen the end of it as yet. So, um, I hope that nobody has, uh, got, has uh, gotten a heart attack because of uh, the recall.